Why do you deliberately foul the air in here? I'm smoking because I can't stand the air in here. It gives me the creeps. I consider it a small blessing not to mention impossible that we even have air in this room at all. And I also realize there's no telling how long it'll last. So, Mr. Smart Alec, how are we gonna get out of here? Just because you're all alone with a woman who calls herself Angel doesn't make it a honeymoon. It all began three days ago. You mean to tell me that you can even negotiate to bring down the price of fish? Of course I can if it's a legitimate case. There's been an unusual increase in fish prices for two weeks now. Do you think that people outside the dome should only eat synthetic cereals? I don't have any fish to sell. It's the retail sellers that are doing the price fixing. You're saying that there aren't any more fish to catch? Oh, yeah, sure. There are fish, all right. It'd take 3,000 years to get all the fish in the sea with that many reefs. All right, why then? Because there ain't nobody who will go out and catch the critters. The fishermen refuse to go out to sea. Yep, they're too scared. What are they scared of? They're scared of the sea titan. I finally understood the old fisherman when he said that the titan of the sea was angry. And these seas do give off a quiet kind of anger. Hmm? Well, what are you planning to do? I'm not just gonna hang around here and wait so we can starve to death. I bet we run out of oxygen before we starve. <sighs> well, what kind of bet is that? If you really are an angel, you shouldn't worry. You can always collect your money in heaven. You may think you're funny, Roger Smith, but I'm not laughing. You're gonna keep playing innocent until it kills you, aren't you? Of course I have no intention of waiting to die here either. But as long as she's nearby, and time is running out. Even if you don't head out to fish, you keep everything in good shape, huh? What do they mean by the wrath of the sea? What are they afraid of? It took over an hour to hear the whole story from the old fisherman. That's complete. This is fine as well. Huh? Oh dear. your people have a rescue plan? I mean, won't they miss you after a while if you don't come back? I doubt it. My client's not that soft-headed. Huh? She says she's an angel. <laughs> the fishermen stopped going out because they were scared of the servants of the Sea Titan, the wrath of the sea. Until I see it for myself, I can't tell whether or not there's something there that can actually be negotiated with. Norman? 
Dorothy, do you think it would be possible that you could fill in for me and go on ahead and start dinner for Master Roger? Even though it is not definite he will be back tonight. Tonight or any night, dinner is to be ready for him upon his return. Hmm. Now I'm a little busy at this moment, if you'll excuse me. It's all lies. What is? All that talk about there being a limitless supply of memories left down here. Why are you looking for memories anyway? Because they're worth a lot of money, naturally. Is that the only reason? What do you mean? Were you born in this city, Miss Angel? What does that have to do with anything? Because it's common knowledge that people who were born in this town and continue to live here don't usually think about getting their memories back. And doesn't that disturb you? Not ever knowing what happened to our parents' parents, where they even came from, and no understanding of who we are or even any idea why we live here? That's just it. People inside and outside the domes are able to live here today because they've made it a point not to think about it. But you're different, aren't you? <sighs> anyway, this discussion is really annoying. What? I have a lady trapped with me here in a sealed room with no escape. And she won't even throw herself into my arms and beg me to save her. <laughs> You know, you are such a louse, Mr. Negotiator. That's okay. I'm used to people telling me that. Running into this place has to be one of the worst mistakes of my life. Is there a man named Reederman here? <laughs> Didn't you hear me when I said I'm not interested? I don't want to buy anything! Okay, what is it you're not going to buy? Huh? You're not an insurance agent. Serve yourself. If this wrath of the sea continues, what are you going to do about it? Because there won't be anyone left who will set foot on a boat around here. Like I care. This is the only job I know. Whether those fishermen take out their boats or not, I'm gonna keep building the darn things. I heard that you're building some kind of a unique and unusual ship. Is that true? <clears throat> now then, who did you hear that from, huh? That's Reederman's ship can go underwater. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, sorry about that. You're not laughing. Negotiating? It wouldn't be called a ship if it could go underwater. But there's something in the sea to the south that you can't reach without diving. Is that supposed to be a ship? It's a little part of my old man's memories rattling around in my head. I was driven to build this thing. I never tested to see if it could really take the dive underwater and make it back up. I'm interested in renting it. This little lady's not going anywhere. At least for a while. It has to be charged up. All right, I'll be back tonight. If you want that thing to run for you, you'll make that payment up front. Do they really think those are servants of the Sea Titan? Ridiculous! Hey, stop! You can't fool me! Adventure of the summer. To 
tomorrow. The legends come to life. Sean Connery, Sammy West, Peter Wilson, Stuart Townsend. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, Rating P13, tomorrow. Don't touch the needle. You might scratch the record. Don't touch the needle. Please make it Too much hip movement is in incorrect and unappealing. Make it You know what they say about Download your favorite songs as ringtones and never miss a beat. That was crazy. Free up. It's for you from Verizon Wireless. Do you know, if you get AOL, you can get this alert that tells you you have a phone call when you're online? No. Peter does that. <laughs> If you want to get your calls, you want to get AOL. Because AOL Call Alert tells you when you have a phone call when you're online. So you'll never miss another important call again. Sign up for AOL and get your first 45 days free. With AOL Call Alert included for up to 12 months. It is the ultimate fighting machine. I've never seen anything like it. A battle android with the soul of a hero. The only problem, he has no idea who he is. What's going on here now? To unlock his secrets, will threaten everything he loves, all in the name of one idea. Can an android become human? Possible. I want you to try to help me be like you. A classic anime, we imagine. Titan, Monday to Thursday, Adult Swim. Are you going far this time? Just a few blocks, but it is far. Nothing more than riddles. I suppose so. I may be going to solve those riddles, as a matter of fact. I've told Norman already, but I won't be needing dinner tonight. I should have eaten before I left. Huh? What? Ah, uh, never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, it makes no difference. This is all your fault. I should have just taken the ship myself. Oh, that really does a lot of good, bringing it up now. What? But I told you I was going to rent it. That woman paid me more for it. I couldn't exactly say no, could I? <clears throat> Roger Smith! Thank you for finding this sweet little boat! Mwah! She's a two-seater. Have yourselves a good time. Hey, wait! What are you doing? I rented this boat and it's mine. Who do you think you are barging in here like this? I have just as much right to be here. I rented this ship first. You would stop bothering me if you really were a gentleman. Never mind, gentlemen. Look ahead. <gasps> That's interesting. Looks like some places still have electricity. It's almost as if there are still people down here.
So these are the people passing themselves off as a Titan. if we went out without suits. How men amuse themselves. This used to be where people lived and worked, up until 40 years ago, right? What do you think happened to all of them? They encounter the end of the world. You might call it a cataclysm. But it's not the end. We carry on. We're still alive. Just not concerned about appearances. This woman, who calls herself an angel, is looking for memories to make money. But for people like us who have lost all memory of the past, do these memories have any value or any meaning? Are they worth the time and any money spent at all? <sighs> do you think it's possible that maybe living is not caring about appearances. So you can say sweet things, can't you? <laughs> it's them down there! Well, Dorothy, I'll be back soon. I think I should go in your place. <laughs> Those men who wear clothes that allow them to move underwater were after exactly the same thing as Angel. They were drawn to the bright light of memories that shone in the night sea. They'll take away all the memories! That light source and power. Is it something that humans are capable of making? Looks like somebody woke up the memory's guardian. We can't stay here. If we do, we'll die. Come in, Big O. Norman, what are you doing here, Dorothy? I can operate without oxygen. It was a much wiser decision. Poor guy. I bet he's awfully disappointed right about now. Oh, 
Okay, Big O, in action! A decrepit Megadeuce like that is worthless. All I'm interested in are the memories. Tell the military police to hold off on that attack right now. First, let them clean up some of that abominable mess out there. <laughs> oh, see, <Titan. laughs> Roger, is that you? That Megadeus is crying. What could he be crying for? It has lost the master it used to serve. But we can't let it run rampant like this. It's too dangerous. Sergeant Miles! Sergeant Kingate! I want a steady missile barrage from both teams! Excuse me, Major Dustin, sir! We just got orders to delay the attack! You can't be serious! Who could possibly stop us in a situation like this? Let it be the head office, sir! So, are you telling me they don't care what's going on out here? I don't care! Fire! Fire! Try showing a little respect for the dead, Mr. Negotiator.
and no one that can stop me. You and me, bra and panties match right now. Smackdown, here comes the pain. Rated T for team. Tight. For a limited time, if you buy a Nintendo GameCube for $99.99, you'll get a bonus disc with four classic Zelda games free. It's coming. This facility is a school. Own the must-see DVD. Sure it is. Of the year. Next time you feel like showing off. X2 on DVD and video. Hang on! Available at Target. Hey! Think of old Michael Strahan! You ain't got nothing! Let me ask you something! How about them cowboys? I said, how about them cowboys? Offensive behavior. Another side effect of hunger. Stop hunger from stopping you. Grab a Snickers, peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. You forgot your hat! Hungry? Grab a Snickers. In a city where chaos rules, only one man can save humanity from total destruction. Hmm. Woohoo! It's up to Homer Simpson and family to save the world from a diabolical plot as they run and drive to unravel the conspiracy. Black Finch! Critics call it the best Simpsons game ever. Get the lost, dude. The Simpsons Hit and Run, rated T for Teen. I am Evil Homer. FIFA Soccer 2004, rated E for everyone. NCAA Football 2004, rated E for everyone. From EA Sports, now on Engage. Larceny, depravity, immoral behavior, all in a good day's work. But this thief's a gentleman. You know you want me. Well, sort of. Hey, excuse me. Bikini Inspector. I got a pair of pretty bracelets with your name on it, Lupin. Lupin the Third, Monday through Thursday. When you're this smooth, everything's free. Let the good times roll on. Tonight? Oh, nothing. I hope that's a clever name for something. You know what, hon? I just didn't feel like cooking. Well, maybe I don't feel like going to work tomorrow. You don't have a job, dear. Thank God your papa got money. Ah! Fish Pockets is holding their annual salute to crabs. Let's make a night of it, darling. Call the boys. Well, what have you boys been up to all weekend? We've been playing head taker. I've been playing. You've been getting a red-ass beatdown. <laughs> well, now get your everybody's fish-tasting mouths into the vehicle. We are all going to fish pockets. Fish pockets! All in the wonders of the sea will be served a pot to me. Baked or broiled or lightly breaded, just the thought makes me lightheaded. There be a smarter thought than a full of tartar sauce. Fish pockets! Buster, have you finished your homework? Well, I 
No. No homework, no fish pockets. Ah, uh, can't I do it when I get back? You had your chance and you blew it. Life is not about the second chances. It's about the lead mouse and his voyage to an exciting new land. That, my friend, is what life is. But, Dad, I'm a growing boy. I need fish. Brack, let me tell you a little story. Long ago... Hey, can I go to the bathroom? Of course, dear. <clears throat> Long ago, in the days when the buttery lobster walked the earth, he was ruled by the delicious crab. Oh, don't tell that story. Uh -oh. He'll have nightmares. No, I won't. What happened to the buttery lobster, Dad, huh? He was strangled uh. by his own bib. Oh, God. Many people suspected the delicious crab, uh. Uh. but he was nowhere to be found. Sure. Unless that's him right behind you. Oh, no! Look out! Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Aha! I fooled you again, boy. Go change your pants. Zorek, I thought you were going to the bathroom. I did. Oh, dear. This is probably a good time to leave. Isn't there any way I could come along? Of course there is, my son. Really? Simply do your homework yesterday, and you're all set. Wait a minute. How can I do that? You can't. I fool you again, boy. Mother, we go. <laughs> oh. Oh. You go ahead, Dad. Eat on the poop deck. Rub the magic clam. Get your picture taken with Gary Grouper. See if I care. Because I do. Eh, what's the big deal? Fish pocket sucks. Homework sucks. Everything sucks. Hey, you should have done your homework too, bub. One more F and you're going right back to Grandma prison. Zora! I ain't going back there. I can't. Well, you might as well get ready for a date with Grandma's feet. And I might as well forget the crab that I was born to eat. Cause we didn't do our homework for the love of pig. If only we could go back in time. We need a freaking time machine. Yeah, I like the one in Mr. Thundercleese's backyard. What? Of course, he's on vacation. Out of my way! <laughs> and I got the key in my pocket. Really? But it's my haunted pocket. When I bought these pants, I found a note in there. It said, inspected by number 47. Number 47? What about the other 46? Were they not good enough to inspect my pants? Just I give me the damn key. So here's what we do. We go back to Friday. And we make a kite out of squirrels and fly to the moon. No, we track ourselves down. Then what? We make our other selves do the homework. Hey, Zora, can I ask you a question? Yeah, what? Where are we going to find enough squirrels to make a kite? Are you really that stupid? Oh, I dare you to say that again. Only this time say, Brack, I love you. Let's go. Look, there we are. Check out the vest. Hello, my name is Brack. Hello, my name is Brack. I live in a house down the street. I live in a house down the street. I'm wearing clean underwear. You are not. You got me. <laughs> oh. So, who are you guys? We're you from the future. Yeah, well, what do you want? To tell you that you have to do your homework by Sunday night? Now, why in the hell would I grandma prison? <laughs> I ain't going back there. Uh, you and me both, Jack. Say, who does your hair? Oh, I usually go to Paul down at Paradise City. Oh, he's a dream. What are you guys gonna do while we're doing homework? Probably play head kicker. Count me in. Hey, can we play too? I should say so. It's our game, isn't it? Hey, let's wash ourselves. Oh, yeah, then we'll be nice and clean when we get to the future. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, ha, 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 buddy! And no matter how you say it, as long as you say it, but don't spray it, yeah, buddy! Let's go play! Oh, my head! Oh, oh no! This is the time where they talk about going to fish!
Fish pocket! Fish pocket! Let's eat! We can't! We didn't do our homework! Man, all I gotta hear is welcome to Fish Pocket, sir. I'm in your party. I say, just me! We're not going, Brack! But I'm hungry. Time shed. Wait a minute, this ain't working. Nobody's doing the homework. I haven't eaten in 25 days! Me either! Somebody feed me! We're never gonna get the fish pockets! I wish there was no such thing as homework. We can arrange that. How? We need to go back to the day homework was invented. And kill it! Yeah, kill it! Stop that crap in its yeah. tracks! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Oh, baby! Well, you guys aren't going. Ah, oh, it's not bad. I don't care. The microscope. The flying lawnmower. Penicillin. The golden shower head. The combustion engine. Behold. The double beer hat. Check it out. Marlin. What good is that? What are you talking about? It's twice as good as the beer hat. But Marlin, I can't see the you. Get off my back! Who are you? Well, my name is Brack, and this big green fella here, his name now is... Now handle this. We are the presidents of the future. Oh, good day to you, Mr. Presidents. Why have you come to us? One of your inventions has destroyed the future. People are suffering and starving. Zorak, what's wrong with your voice? Shut up, they're buying it. Do you need a lozenge? No, I'm good. The streets are filled with wickedness and filth. The fun is gone. It's gone. It's out of here. It's bad. Very bad. Asti Spumanti. Which of our inventions has caused this misery? It goes by the name... Homework. I was just about to invent that. See, I told you that was a dumb idea, but nobody listens to Marlin. He's just an old fool with a beer hat. I don't see how homework could... Listen to him, Merlin. They're from the damn future. Well, what can we do to prevent all this suffering? You must uninvent homework. The presidents have spoken. How about that? Meeting the presidents. We must destroy all the inventions. Who knows what damage we've already done? Well, what have you boys been up to all weekend? Well, I'll tell you one thing we haven't been doing, Mom. Our homework. Homework. What is this homework you speak of? Mother, have you ever heard of such a thing? Oh, I certainly haven't. My goodness. Dorak, it worked. What worked? My stomach worked, Daddy. Let's get the fish pocket. Fisher pocket? What are you talking about, son? I'm talking about fish pockets, my favorite restaurant. Brack, your favorite restaurant has always been Lord Wellington's Beef Trapeze. Really? That sounds pretty good. I'm glad you see it that way, son. Life is too short to worry about eating and making kites from animals. Better to use your time for the schoolwork. Only at the school, of course. And maybe you'll grow up to be someday the president of the future. Or you could be snatched up by a gigantic terrible bird and torn limb from the limb on a lonely mountaintop. Do you understand what I'm saying, son? Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy!
attention summer travelers. With fares as low as $15 and buses rolling 24-7, Greyhound is the way to travel without the wear and tear on your car. Whoops, that's going to cost them. Go Greyhound and leave the driving to us. Thinking of making a collect call? It's obvious. Dial 1-800-COLLECT. It just goes together, like an angel with wings. So go ahead, toss the 1-800 before collect, and you're on your way. 1-800-COLLECT. It's the obvious choice. Moments ago, we gave Frank an ordinary sugar-free gum. And this is a pretty girl. Oh, my. Now, sugar-free orbit. Orbit cleans another dirty mouth. That's why four out of these five construction workers prefer the good, clean feeling of Orbit, no matter what. Only let a certified mechanic repair or alter your vehicle. One, two, three, make it fun. Let's leave an information to the experts. Make it fun. The flavor, new tropical sprite remix. Remix. What you got there? It's a McGriddle sandwich from McDonald's. What's in it? It's good. It's like a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Except it's got these two griddle cakes with the taste of maple syrup inside. That's bizarre. <laughs> Then again, it's not that bizarre. New McGriddles. Bizarre, but yummy. Hello, I'm Myron Reducto Litigator. When I make a collect call, I use back off. <clears throat> when I make a collect call, I dial down the center. 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Save on every call. Personal space. Use 1-800-CALL-A-T-T -T for collect calls. I see you. Yuji Kaido was desperately ill. His only hope of living, suspended animation. 27 years have passed. While he slept, the world has changed. Where are we? And what were those things back there? The blue have destroyed all he once knew and taken over the earth. This isn't a game we're playing. There's no room for amateurs here. Mankind's last hope depends upon his survival. So you better hold on tight. Blue Gender, starting Monday, August 4th at 1230. Adult Swift. Spent all weekend at home again, huh? Yeah, what about it? Did you sign a marriage certificate or a death certificate? It was nice. Just me and the missus and a stack of DVDs. Pfft, I'll bet you didn't even pick them. No, well, so what? Yeah, he's whipped. I'm not. <laughs> Zorak is a wild stallion. I can't be caged or whipped. <laughs> Whipped. Yes, honey. You're Bend right, over and take honey. it like a good boy. Oh, it's you all my, my fault. Surprise. I'm sorry. Ooh, what you have to you be saying, time for dinner. Dear? How could I have been so stupid? Don't forget to mow the hedges. It's all my fault, Pumpkin. Don't forget to trim the lawn. Oh, stupid me. I'm always wrong. Well, the female praying mantises eat their mates. Don't kid yourself, pal. It's just a matter of time before your wife bites into your skull. My Linda would never do that. I don't think. Would she? <sighs> they all do, my evil nemesis. They all do. Yep, the bigger the cranium, the sweeter the meat. And you got a big one. Greetings, citizens. Daddy's home. My head is too in proportion to my body. 
Oh, no. You're a freak. Freaky deaky. I'd put you in a sideshow and sell tickets if I knew how to work that stupid box of yours. Now fire up the boob tube. Ugh, it's this damn helmet. <laughs> Makes my hips look big. Greetings, Richard Garriott. I've stayed in your hotels. Do you have to spray for bed bugs after each customer? Oh, man. Rich? Can, can I call you Rich? It's not a particularly memorable name. Lord British, on the other hand. Lord British it is. And you may call me the Earl of Peppercorn. I thought it was the Baron of Buttocks. It's the Earl of Peppercorn. No, it's the Duke of Jergonia. You know, because you're a jerk. How about the Viscount of Vichy Slies? You know, because you so love French cold potato leek soup. It's true. I do like a good Vichy Swaz. But it's peppercorn. Earl of. I got the paperwork right here. Bought it off the computer fair and square. Now, all rise for our noble guest, Lord British. The Earl of Peppercorn demands it. Lord British, everyone. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, exalt his majesty, Lord British, before the Earl of Peppercorn does something rather ignoble to your tender parts. Yeah, whatever. Lord British. That's more like it. Bite me. Moltar? Lord British, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. What are you, some kind of British lord? As it turns out, I was born in Cambridge, England. And so, in fact, I have, I have dual citizenship. You know, once a British citizen, always a British citizen. It's uh, not something you can even revoke, I don't think, if you wanted to. You know, I don't think we've had royalty on this show before. Those with the blood of kings don't usually abide insects and obese mutants. I ate a king once. Tasted like eagle. Oh, come on now, Zorak. If anyone here ever ate a king, it's Moltar. All those royal calories coursing right past the thighs and going straight to his big, succulent, meaty head. Did not. Dead too, fatty fathead. I find that story to be thin, at the very least, uh, and morally ambiguous, uh, you know, at another level, and in fact, uh, you know, at some level, just wrong. You got that right, homebrew. So, Lord British, are you one of those eccentric superheroes? or admittedly, insane supervillains. I've been called the satanic perverter of America's youth. Hey, that's my job! That and sit here and look pretty. No, no, no! How many times do we have to go over this? I'm the eye candy, Moltar is the elephant man. I'm gonna make you hurt. And you, Zorak, are like that big infected scab on the back of my... And I de develop a system of philosophy... That... Okay, pretty boy, let me finish my scab analogy. Ooh, you're told to kill me instructions. Ooh, what page is that? I'm down with that philosophy. At this point, forget it. You know what? I had a great dermatology joke ready to go. Very clever, very cute, but you had to go and cheat my adoring fans out of pure comedy gold. Now everyone's going to be calling the network going, what about the scab thing? It's brilliant. I mean, and, and it was, and it worked great. Now see that? That's how you kiss somebody's ass. You two need to learn to suck up like Lord British over here. Well, if you love him so much, why don't you just marry him? Uh, I have given that a lot of thought. Ooh, combine our empires and crush our foes? Brilliant! Of course. Uh, but I get to pick the DVDs. We shall return with a vengeance. Excuse me, Barky. What time's the next water show? Someone should put a sign up or something that says when the water show is. Does anybody here know when the water show is? Grumpiness. Another unfortunate side effect of hunger. Grab a Snickers, packed with peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. Hungry? Grab a Snickers. Only in Donkey Kong Country. Swimming gorillas, blasting barrels, runaway minecarts. Only for Game Boy Advance. Rated everyone. Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan, Cell, Frieza, Boo.
Looks like it's time to find your inner evil. Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu for Nintendo Game Boy Advance. If you've got a favorite character, you've got to fight. Rated team. Let's give a great big ghost planet hey hey to our very special guest, the lovely Chantal Claret. Hello, Space Ghost. I love you a lot. Why, thank you. I love me too. <coughs> oh, man. I just puked in my helmet. Oh, I'm Space Ghost. Look at me. I'm so handsome. Watch me flex. Love me, look at me, love me, kiss me, kiss me all over. Who locked the bathroom? It's running down my legs. Oh, look at my ripping stomach. Well, why is the bathroom door locked again? A big one right on my butt. I see here, Chantel, that uh, you're the lead singer of a... I need the bathroom key right now. Mm. ...of a peppy teen rock group called... I the bathroom um, key. Mm. Uh, I can't say this on the air. Come on. <laughs> you're the lead singer of a band called... Um, uh, Who's got the key? I do. Well, can I have it? You mean, may I have it? <sighs> may I have it? No. Nobody talk to me. All right. So you're the lead singer of a band called... Uh, Morningwood. Yes! Yes. Morningwood. <laughs> okay, okay, get it out of your system already. <laughs> Are you aware that that name has a uh, <clears throat> less than pure connotation? Hmm? Don't sass me, space ghost. I'll kill you. You will not. I'll hunt you down and kill you and then steal your job. <laughs> oh, baby, you just lit my loins on fire. Now no. you listen here, young lady. I'm going to slap happy on your face when you sass me. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I do the sassing around here, Missy. And when I do, people die. I slap myself in the face and I pinch my nipples. <laughs> Let me see. Yes. Wait, I'll get my camera. No, no. Oh, playing hard to get, are you? Come sit on my lap. Yeah, baby. That's more like it. Stop fraternizing with a guest. Can somebody unzip my suit? It really smells bad in here. Um, I'm a fan of... Boys made out of wood. Oh, once I got a splinter from smashing Space Ghost kneecap with a two by four. Does that count? Oh, that's hard. That's really tough. Oh come on, that should totally count. You can come on the road with us. Whoa, baby. Zora ain't looking for no ball and chain. Just a little loving now and then. Hey, I'm management. You'll direct your inquiries to me, thank you. Please, 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 please. I know sugar daddy toots. I smell a wedding. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Yes! 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 Oh, wait. No, that's just my helmet. All righty, Miss Interspecies Romance 2006. I think we're about out of time, so take care and go easy on the pension. Bye, Space Ghost. Come visit me and do my merch. That sounded dirty. Was that dirty? Because I'm not into that. You can actually rub lotion on it if you want. Or that.
going on here? Now, his quest to unlock his secrets will threaten everything he loves, all in the name of one idea. Can an android become human? Impossible. I want you to try to help me be like you. A classic anime, reimagined. Kikai, coming up next, Adult Swim. God of wonders beyond our galaxy. Experience the power. It's the new sound of worship. Presenting worship together on two CDs or cassettes for just $19.99. But wait, call with your credit card and we'll cut the price in half. That's right, you get two albums for just $9.99. Then audition other Worship Together albums. Satisfaction guaranteed. So call now and get two powerful albums for just $9.99. Use your credit card and call 1-800-441-2400 to order Worship Together for just $9.99 plus shipping. Or send $19.99 plus shipping to the address on your screen. In here. Check out shop.cartoonnetwork.com, your headquarters for animation collectibles, artist drawing, cell art, maquettes, and more. New on cartoonnetwork.com. Come on, y'all! Come and start juggling! Time. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Experiments succeed. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived an old puppet maker named Geppetto. Geppetto lived alone and had no children of his own. One day, he decided to build a puppet in place of the child he never had, and he called him Pinocchio. That night, a fairy appeared and cast a spell on Pinocchio, allowing him to move on his own without strings. Then the fairy told him this, Pinocchio, if you're very good, one day I'll return and make you a real little boy. Then she turned to the talking cricket and said, You will be Pinocchio's conscience. Remember, Pinocchio, always be good and listen to what he tells you. And then Pinocchio... Good night, Masaru. You're not coming home again tonight.
wake up. Don't believe this. Nothing could have gone wrong. Everything was perfect. Damn it all. There's no time. I can't fix it. here who am I where am I I don't know <sighs> okay so you would be dr. Komyoji's I'm his daughter Mitsuko oh, all right so this is what we think it looks like the fire started in the lab on the first floor I'm guessing something caused a spark to jump from the machinery which ignited some of those chemicals in there I see we haven't found the body yet, but from what I've seen, there's no way he could have survived the explosion. Eh, yeah, maybe it's not my place, but from what I've heard, your dad was conducting some pretty weird research in here. Well, at least he was smart enough to put his lab where there weren't any houses nearby, huh? You know, your old man might have been some kind of genius with robotics, but he sure made a hell of a mess of things around here. Mm. Ah! Ah! Masaru, ah! you can't talk about ah! my dad that way! Genius, and this research was important. The things he was working on were gonna help a lot of people. Oh, sorry, kid. Take it easy. My dad was. He, he was. Masada. Don't cry anymore. I know. It'll be okay. 
Mitsuko, Dad, he's not really dead, is he? Oh, Masaru. He can't be dead! He's all right, he must be. But we have to wait for the police to finish the investigation, just to be sure. Uh, uh, it's not fair, Dad can't be dead. you anyway. What are you, some kind of rock star carrying around that guitar? Just put the 1-800 before collect. She's a keeper. 1-800 collect. Save a buck or two. They travel in packs. They're playful. And when they get out, they go fast. Watch out! New Lifesavers Minis in mixed fruit and peppermint. The next big thing from Lifesavers. Text messaging is great! On the other hand, text messaging is easy and fun. Oh boy! More text messaging, please! By the way, buddy, text messaging sure is fun! Do you ever shut up, you numbskull? Oh man, I got a message! Text messaging is awesome! Verizon Wireless, we never stop working for you. In 1211, the Carpathian brothers took a vow of silence. Luckily, it only pertains to offline. Because right now, AOL members can get AOL for Broadband, the first online service specifically designed to maximize your high-speed connection for a great low price, now for a limited time. And when you can get streaming news and sports highlights and send instant messages with video, pictures, and songs, who needs talking? Call now to get the only high-speed online experience with all the power of the world's largest online community. With sessions at AOL, radio at AOL, and music at AOL. Plus AOL's powerful pop-up controls, latest generation parental controls, and a junk mail filter that helps you block unwanted email, report it, and helps filter it out altogether. AOL for broadband. Welcome to the worldwide... The reincarnation of an ancient warrior. I'm not her! The reincarnation of who? And a half-man, half-demon must regain the shards of a magic jewel. I like not the looks of it. For all humanity is lost. I'm a jewel. Not in my lifetime, pal. Of course, they may kill each other first. Your brain's broken or something. Inuyasha, Monday through Thursday night at 12.30. Sit, boy! Huh? Sit. Part of the belt swing. on up there. Your specialty was robotics. But just what kind of robot were you building? What happened in there? What could have gone wrong? This is no good. I'm not finding anything. 
Maybe he only stored the data for all his research on the lab computer. But even if I learned about him now, what good would it do me? It's too late. give it so much strength with so little weight. The skin and these joints, it's unbelievable. Everything is monitored, even its posture. Amazing, every detail's here. It's one thing to design it, but could it actually be built? Maybe. I have to get that thing, right? <laughs> uh-huh. I done? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Why did he design it to be so powerful? It's as if he were building it to fight something. It's almost too powerful. This is dangerous. Father, what were you thinking when you designed this? <gasps> what the... This is... actually has a conscience, and he's given this soul the name Gemini. Father, what you've created is... 
Why, it's practically human. Jiro? Oh. I don't get it. Father, I don't understand what you want me to do. Damn it. Mitsuko, hold on! Where are you going? Wait for me! This place... I know this place. It's somehow familiar.
puppet which his father had created was only a machine. He could smile tenderly. His eyes could fill with sadness. He possessed words with which to express his loneliness. But he was still a machine made of cold, hard metal. And the girl, she could not forgive that. Next time on Android Kikaider, the animation, Mad Machine. It's hard enough rushing through a stressful world during your waking hours. So why add to that stress in bed, tossing and turning on an uncomfortable metal spring mattress? You deserve a good night's sleep. And that's just what you'll get with the Tempur-Pedic Swedish Sleep System, the only mattress that uses the gravity-defying temper material originally developed by NASA. Instead of uncomfortable metal springs, the Tempur-Pedic mattress uses billions of viscoelastic memory cells. This soft yet supportive material automatically adjusts to every curve of your body, providing a weightless-like sleep surface that you have to feel to believe. It feels like it's actually forming its own glove to me. I can't really find an uncomfortable position. It's like nothing, I, it's like nothing I've ever felt before in a mattress. Now you can feel it for yourself. Call and we'll rush you a free sample of the revolutionary temper material along with this video and information kit. You'll learn how metal springs create pressure points that cause you to toss and turn. Tempur-Pedic reduces pressure points so you can get a better night's sleep. The Tempur-Pedic mattress is unique in that it is firm but yet it molds to your body, thus relieving those pressure points and allowing you to get a much better night's sleep. First night was amazing. The second night I woke up the next morning no back pain. And I've always had back pain. I was sold after two nights. And because Tempur-Pedic doesn't transfer motion, you'll never disturb your partner. Look how this glass of red wine doesn't tip over, even when she jumps up and down. Try that with a metal spring mattress. Don't be fooled by imitators. Only the Tempur-Pedic mattress uses the revolutionary temper material originally developed by NASA. Tempur-Pedic, changing the way the world sleeps. Call 1-800-592-3388 for your free video information kit and temper material sample. Tempur-Pedic, the Consumer's Digest Best Buy Award winner. There are two types of people. Now. Those who run from trouble. And those who stand to fight. Which one are you? Don't miss Lara Croft in this summer's blockbuster hit. Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness, rated T for Teen, in stores now. Hey, well, what should I do with this one? I just throw it in the back. Hey, fragile means be extra careful or something could get broken, if you know what I mean. Got something to say? Grab a chisel tip Sharpie in eight bold colors. Sharpie, right out loud. AdultSwim.com no shirt, no shoes, no problem. When you shop for t-shirts at adultswim.com featuring Meatwad, Captain Murphy, Brack, and Harvey Birdman. Adultswim.com Patty tried it last night. It was so simple. Rob thought it was too good to be true. Then I got my bill. 1010987 10, really is cheap. Three cents a minute and 39 cents to connect to anywhere in the U.S. Ed's been talking to his cousins in Germany. That three cents lets me call Western Europe and Canada, too. Now Monica's using it all the time. I just dial 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, then 1, and the number. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7. Just try it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Before Mr. Taylor taught the world to play, before fiberglass, before parquet, 
before the word doctor was spelled with a J, and ballrooms were ball courts where the Renaissance played. Before the hype and before the dunk, after the rhythm, but before the funk. Before the money and before the fame, before new and old school, before school had a name. It was only the ball and the soul of the game. The first school, Converse. Only at Foot Locker. Witness the horrible peccadilloes of penguins behind bars. They've sent me a troublemaker, have they? Shock after shock after shock. Penguins behind bars. Free! Nobody moves. Look at this crazy bird. Look again. You'll be shocked and dismayed at penguins behind bars. Penguins behind bars. Sunday at 11. An adult swim special in Adult Swim. That Dr. Pepper, it's some kooky, nutty drink. Grab a can and be you. Out here? It's 500 yards to town. Thanks for the ride. It's okay. You aren't gonna listen, are you? Well, each his own. Serious sandstorms are forming. Up to 4,000 yards around the Orleans area. All transportation has been stopped, with no immediate signs of resuming. Well, I suppose we're stuck here. I don't know. Why don't we just think of it as some kind of vacation, Meryl? If this were a vacation, I know that I'd spend it someplace a lot quieter than this. I did it! Unbelievable. Not again. I did it! I did it! It's an all-club street! That's wonderful, Miss Stephanie. Hey, I really like this game! I can't play like this. Huh? But wait, where are you going? Don't give up yet! I was just starting to have some fun! Shooting myself would be more fun than this. Hey there, would you two like to play? Are you playing Old Maid? Well, actually, we don't know any other games, but thank you very much. Come on, don't be that way, please. I'll play Deal Me In. Well, all right then. Let's get this show on the road before my luck changes. One condition. Huh? High stakes game. The bet is for your life. Three things I can't tolerate in this world. People who put ice in alcohol, the pattern on a silhouette scorpion, and slime who don't appreciate tranquility. A robbery in my jurisdiction? Not on my watch, damn it! Well, what's the situation here, Stan? All right, Dick. Will you inform the Earl of what's going on? Yes, sir. Well, according to the testimony from the witnesses, the group consists of four criminals and four hostages. I had a chance to talk to the folks that escaped, and they told me that one of the hostages is a real pretty girl who loves cards, Mr. Bostock. What are these lowlifes looking for? Well, they want a hundred thousand double dollars in inconsecutive bills and a getaway wagon. Did they go and commit this crime knowing that she's my daughter? I bet they did. I don't think it's any big secret that you're the wealthiest man in town. And only you could come up with a hundred thousand double dollars that quick. Uh, I'm not gonna let them get away. If word of this gets around, hooligans will come swarming from everywhere. My daughter will become their plaything, and when they're finished, they'll discard her in the desert. I suppose you wouldn't know that from personal experience, would you, Grim Reaper Bostock? Shut up, Stan. You're supposed to be the sheriff in this town, and it's your job to help my daughter, damn it! I don't care how many have to die. You need to do what it takes to get her back in one piece. Huh? Don't order me around, Bostock. This is not the old days. <sighs> hmm. 
What is he doing? Who is that idiot? I have no idea. Hey, look out! Get back here, dumbass! There's a hostage situation in there. You want to die? He's dancing around too much to even notice. He can't hear a damn thing. That brainless moron. He's gonna upset the criminals. Huh? Dodging the bullets. Dodging? That freak doesn't even realize he's being shot at. Well, looks like he's going inside. Stop it! Get out of there! Who are you supposed to be? Are you suicidal? Or too stupid to know better? Huh? Huh? That guy's just an idiot. Takes more than just an idiot to be screaming that way. Well, I guess we got five hostages now. The plan has not changed. All this means is that there's one more life on the line we've got to worry about. How's it coming along? We got through just about two hours ago, sir. We'll be ready by the deadline the criminals gave us, no problem. Hey, Bostock, I think it'd be a good idea for you to keep praying for your daughter's safety. Oh, yeah, and by the way, while you're at it, don't forget the money. Uh... <laughs> Can't you be a little more gentle, brother? I won't try anything else. Honest, you can even take my gun, see? Huh? What's this? Here, catch. Oh, that's heavy. Custom made, huh? You're packing some serious firepower for such a scrawny guy. Hey, if you don't mind, could you give it back to me when you're done? Shut up, you little maggot. <laughs> 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 Well, hello. Hello. You know what? I have been going through a lot of hell since I met the two of you. We are the ones that are in hell, you idiot. Ugh. Oh, that really hurt. Are you okay? Uh huh? Whoa! What? What is it? Hey, stop it! Get away from me! This is not the way a lady should be treated. I am appalled by your lack of manners. We are ladies too, you know. Oh yeah, I guess I forgot. <laughs> this lady's a special case. She serves as a warning. What do you mean? They must want my family's money. That has to be it. Why else would they rob this two-bit saloon? How could you ever forgive me, Miss Stephanie? I failed to protect you. Depressing. <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of demanding anything too extravagant. However, if it's pocket money you want, I'm sure I can easily get that from my daddy. Pocket money? <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> I'll, I'll kill her! I'll kill you right now! Knock it off, Jean! <laughs> Miss Stephanie! Stop! I'll pull the trigger! I swear! Uh, Just cry! Scream, Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. You've got to get a hold of yourself, Jean. Oh. Now you better keep your mouth shut, cause next time it just might be me with the gun. Can't we all just get along? Peaceful like? Huh? huh? This was all your story, you little tree. You freaked the living oh, crap sorry. out of me. Somebody help me. Gum? You're kidding. It couldn't be. <laughs> You're using them? Yes. They're a lovely bunch of mercenaries who would do anything, even kill their very own families, just to get a little bit of money. They're actually quite skillful. And best of all, they have no respect for each other. They are the perfect men for the job. And they'll take control of the situation. Take my word for it. I trust they won't accidentally shoot my daughter. Now, that all depends on how much money you offer them. Think of it this way. Unless you make it worth their while, they won't be able to tell her apart from a sandroach. Ain't that right? 
<laughs> Give them what they want. But they'd better not lay a finger on my daughter. Okay, got yourself a team. Now let's get this little party underway, shall we? Uh, get it through your head, uh, moron! Uh, right. <sighs> Medallion has been stolen. Now, getting it back will take every move he's got. Sorry. Jackie Chan. The Medallion. Rated PG-13. Opens August 22nd. It's good to have exceptionally clear skin when circumstances exceed your expectations. So Stridex gives you a little extra, like the only non-irritating, alcohol-free, medicated pads. Stridex. Expect more. Hey, fish stick, your SUV's pretty tough, right? Not when friction takes over, pal. Friction and heat cause stress and wear, which over time can make that little dinghy seem a lot heavier. Nice shooting, Tex. You need Quaker State for 4x4s, SUVs, and trucks. It's proven to reduce friction and deliver superior performance under high stress and heat. One word, pal. Carpool. Quaker State. The power to reduce friction. Don't make me send you the lab results. You're going down, Johnny. Good idea. Order me a drink, Aya. <laughs> The new sidekick. Service starts at 30 bucks. is running out you little weasels you all had better hope the wagon and money gets here and i don't want to hear about any more delays or i'm gonna have to get angry that's enough of that denim we still got work to do excuse me if you receive the money you're asking for will you promise to release miss stephanie unharmed it's all up to her father for her sake i hope he doesn't do anything Shh. stupid keep it down the satellite's on Vance the Stampede. What? Yeah, that's what I heard. The humanoid typhoon is in this city. Hey, if Big Man Bostock or the Sheriff hires Vash the Stampede, the party's over. We'll all be dead before sunrise. Don't go losing your head. Keep it together now, guys. It's almost time. Hey, look! Something's coming this way! Look! Shut up! Oh. I told you to stay still! All right. The wagon! Stay down! Alright! Here's your wagon! And 100,000 double dollars in inconsecutive bills! 
We have met your demands. Release your hostages immediately. Not quite yet. First we check the wagon and the money. And you listen up. Try anything and the hostages are dead meat. Got that? <sighs> I'll go. You be careful. Do you think your father will hand over the money without trying anything? My daddy will do anything to protect me, no matter what it takes. Stands another matter. at any time, but who in the hell? Hey, Mr. Robberman, why don't you show us your pretty face? Yeah, we'd be happy to make it a lot prettier with some hot leg surgery! <laughs> what do we do now? I have no idea. So, can we kill him? Hmm? You can kill anyone but the girl! Cool. <laughs> Stop, I beg you! Please don't shoot! <laughs> You know what, friend? Anyone ever tell you that you lack compassion? <laughs> What's the matter? Just shoot the guy! Well, tough guy, so I guess you think you have a hostage now! Just shoot him! Then we'll all make more money on this deal! <sighs> Rem. This guy really is a stupid ass! Stand back! <laughs> what in the hell were you thinking? What made you decide you weren't going to shoot him? <sighs> I'm really glad that you didn't shoot him. Me too. Because I don't like pain very much. <sighs> Never mind. Are you okay? <sighs> now do you understand? The sheriff never had any intention of giving you any money. I'll ask Daddy to let you go free if you will promise to just stop all of this. That's not something I can do. What? I have reasons for what I've done here. Do you know anything about the huge graveyard on the northeast outskirts of the town? Our parents are buried beneath that hellish wasteland, where now even the corpse weeds won't grow. I remember them working like animals in the fields, covered in dirt. Finally, after ten years, they managed to make this sandy soil usable. It was an amazing accomplishment. Then about fifteen years ago, your father showed up and stole the land those good people sweated blood to plow. He earned the name Grim Reaper Bostock when he slaughtered them all. You're at this point, lying would accomplish nothing. We don't care about the money. Whatever happens, I will not run away. However, I will take revenge for what happened 15 years ago. Mark my words. It's impossible to forget something like that. 
Huh? What's happening? What the hell? Hey, don't you worry. We'll get you some help, pal. Am I gonna die? No, it's all right. You're gonna be okay. The bullet passed right through. Attention! I will now discuss the demands on behalf of these men. Hmm? You're going? He has my oldest daughter. I have no other choice. But hear this, Stan. When all of this is over, I will hold you personally responsible. He was feared 15 years ago as Grim Reaper Bostock. Amazing how the love of a daughter or the passage of time can change a man. What you want now. It's time to release the girl, Ingwei. Please forgive me for what I'm about to do. It's not an easy thing to escape from a past you can't bury. You can't look away anymore. It's time you face the truth about your father. You can no longer remain ignorant of the hopes of the people because of the terrible lie your entire life was built upon. I am aware of that. I am aware of that. But. Even if it is true that he was responsible for all those horrible things, he is still my daddy. No matter how disobedient or selfish I was growing up, he was always a warm, dedicated, and loving father to me. shoulder what are you crying about Th thank you Ingwei. listen I don't want you thanking me for anything I just simply got distracted and it threw my aim off that's all can't believe he's really crying see you later I'm turning myself in oh there it's too soon for the epilogue it's all over, Stan. I'm gonna give myself up. Not yet. I still need you to resist me. What? I never dreamed that I would be presented with such an opportunity. I can see the headlines now. The siege criminal kills Mr. Bostock. Sheriff forced to shoot culprit down as he attempts to resist. It makes for a pretty article. A real showpiece for my scrapbook. No, Stan. The sheriff is a position of honor. How could you do this? Fifteen years ago, this man stole every right to this town. I should have been just as powerful. Yet I was stuck as the lowly sheriff. I think I'm way past due to receive a little glory around these parts. You were in on it! You are a fiend! You're a scoundrel! Throw down your weapons right now! You unarmed stray dogs. How grand to be superior. I have one question. Tell me, how does it feel to kill unarmed innocent people like that? And I have a question for you. Do you feel anything when you burn your garbage? Nifty answer. Sorry I asked. Remember? You helped me in the saloon. I can recognize the smell of gunpowder and grease instantly. Well, now. You bastards! I'll... Well, what do you think, Sheriff? 
How does it feel to be at the mercy of a stray dog, huh? You can relax, Sheriff. I'm not going to kill you. However, you... No longer have the right to be Sheriff. Want to know something interesting, Sheriff? Repeat carefully after me! Okay. This world is made. This world is. This world is made of. This world is made of. <laughs> made of love and peace. Brought to you by Progressive. Not what you'd expect from an insurance company. Life is already full of challenges and obstacles. Your home shouldn't be. Let the friendly staff at Roberts Furniture guide you in creating an inviting oasis from the stress of everyday life. Whether you're just starting out or updating your existing look, you're sure to find it at Roberts Furniture. Lazy Boy recliners, sofa and sleep sofas, chrome craft table sets, factory direct pricing on Jamestown mattress bedding, Soft, luxurious carpeting, accessories, and much, much more. So this year, come home to Robert's Furniture. When an accomplished pianist plays all 1,440 notes of the minute waltz in time, that's fast. If it's a 13-year-old, that's breathtaking. And for insanely fast speed on the internet, millions waltz over to Roadrunner High Speed Online. With Roadrunner Rhapsody, burn custom CDs in an instant. In fact, two out of three households with high-speed internet use cable-based technology. Exceed your speed. Call 1-800-ROADRUNNER and get free installation, plus $10 off each of your first three months. From the creator of The Simpsons. How are you going to live without a body? Bodies are for hookers and fat people. The future of the universe is on DVD. You want to see my fry hole? Looks nice. Get a load of the ball bearings on this guy, huh? Futurama. Own volume two on DVD today. Wicked. So you're going to die like a rock star? It's the only way I know. Slap the 1-800 before collect. It's cake. Right on. 1-800 collect. Save a buck or two. What you seeing didn't start with LL today. Take it from me, Run DMC paved the way with Jam Master J, the KINGs. Run D and Dr. Pepper, that's originality. The taste of Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper. The taste of originality salutes individuality. Individual. Gives life, personality. Be you, do what you do. Be you, be you, nothing better than Dr. Pepper. Run DMC and Jam, Dr. Pepper. NFL and Sports Illustrated have lined up an exclusive offer to get you ready for football season. Kick off with a first ever NFL Fantasy Preview 2003. A two disc DVD from NFL Films. Free with your paid subscription. Hosted by Ron Jaworski and Spencer Tillman. NFL Fantasy Preview 2003 is loaded with valuable information like draft strategy and player rankings you won't find anywhere else. <laughs> Call now and get another gift from Sports Illustrated free. A long sleeve t-shirt of your favorite NFL team. The choice is yours. The ultimate NFL fantasy football package is free when you order 56 weekly issues of Sports Illustrated for only $1.59 an issue. Save more than 50% off the cover price of $3.50. Use your credit or debit card and you'll also get this team logo fleece blanket free. 
I can't believe this is all free. Get the ultimate fantasy football package. Call now. Hey, everybody, I'm Brack, and this is the Adult Swim News. Well, the nice folks at Adult Swim Properties, Inc. want you to know that interest rates are at an all-time low. If you're not taking advantage of it, then you're making a big mistake, my friend, and I'll tell you why. Because I'm in some serious trouble. I have not sold one friggin' timeshare this month. Do you understand what kind of pressure I'm under? I have borrowed money from people who will kill my ass. Bad people. Freaking Russians who won't take yet for an answer. But do the guys at Adult Swim Properties care? Hell no. We're not a bank, they tell me. We're a real estate conglomerate. Now clean out your office, you're fired, dumbass. So I guess that's it for Brack. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man. <laughs> Why more Americans get their grossly irresponsibly wrong news freshly pulled from my bottom than from any other source. Bye-bye!
What is that thing? No, stay back. Don't come any closer. No. There was no cure for my illness. Don't worry. An analysis of your genomes has already been completed. It's only a matter of time now before the appropriate gene therapy is developed. Of course, we can't allow your conditions to progress any further. So we have devised this temporary solution. And so we slept. The doctors told us that in a few years they would wake us up, when they had discovered a cure for our illness. But instead... <laughs> This isn't real. 
This can't be happening. No, please. Make it stop. Make it stop. Mom, can some of the guys come over for pizza? Sure. She said yes, come on! Whoa, got some big Woo. NFL appetites heading your way. Looks like you need the NFL deal from Pizza Hut and Pepsi. Order any large specialty pizza at regular price and you get a medium one-topping pizza and a two-liter of Pepsi for just $1.99 more. The NFL deal, a Pizza Hut pizza and a Pepsi for just $1.99 more. May I have another slice, please? Oh, Michael, I don't know where you put it. You can please your crowd every day when you gather around the good stuff. So I'm watching TV last night, and I see my 1010-987 commercials come on, and I call my mom. I call 1010-987-1, my mom's number. Instantly, I'm connected. She complains to me for 15 minutes because I don't call her enough. So call your mother and get nagged at for 3 cents a minute and 39 cents to connect, and then it automatically comes on your regular phone bill. It's so simple, I'm telling you. There's no monthly fee, nothing to sign up for, like no operators, no nothing. I didn't have to talk to anybody. None of that stuff. 1010-987, do it. Call your mom. My mother is going to kill me if she sees this. There's a new vanilla in town. Introducing Pepsi Vanilla, the perfect blend of cola and vanilla. That was awesome. That's not so vanilla. This fall, Fox asks the important question, who would ever have said I do to this woman? That man was devastated when I left. Was he devastated like this? <laughs> this week, meet the guy who was once crazy enough to get hitched to Wanda. Could you just toast the bottom bun? Not the whole bun, because it's too crunchy to scratch my throat up. Just spit my food right here. Dave Chappelle guest stars on Wanda. Shut it up, ex-dummy. Season premiere this week on Fox. Inuyasha and Kagome have made strong allies in their hunt for the jewel shards. thing that stands in their way are Naroku and his horde of demons. Back, Kagome! Okay! And a possible sexual harassment charge. It was worth the pain. Inuyasha. All new episodes. Monday through Thursday at midnight. You can tell by their tempers they're related. Adult Swim. Have a nice day now. Hey, Yuji! I think I've decided to become a sleeper, Takashi. They just don't know enough about this illness. The doctors, they say they don't even have a way to treat me right now. 
They need more time to figure it out. <clears throat> they said they won't keep me asleep for very long. Maybe just a year or two. Well, I'm sure the doctors know what's best for you. <sighs> hey, do what you gotta do. But once you beat this thing, me and you should get away from here for a while. You know, go see the world. There's a lot of girls out there. Yeah, right. I'll see you real soon, Takashi. When I wake up... Yeah, when I wake up, it's you and me. We'll go someplace far from here. My name is Marlene, and yes, I'm a human. <laughs> now, unless you'd rather die, you will follow my orders exactly. Now, if we can get through there, we'll be safe. So you'd better hold on tight. to us. Keith, Joey. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! I got something for you! 
for you! Come and get it! Out of the way. Now, run. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's move out, but leave him a present. Copy. I got it. Come on, what are you doing? Get in the truck, now! At least the ocean still looks the same. So what is this place? Where are we? And what the hell were those things back there? Those things are called blue. They are mankind's enemy. Suddenly awakened, then nearly getting killed without any warning, without any idea of what's going on. Who do you guys think you are? What the hell happened to the world? What are you planning to do with me? If I'd have known it would turn out like this, then instead of living in this place, I would have... I would have...
gonna kick me out of the band. You're out. Get a job. Everyone, I'd like to introduce Mr. Schneebly. Hey! They thought they were getting a new substitute. There will be no gold stars or demerits. What they got. Hey. This time we'll start our new class project. Rock band. Can we tell our parents? No! With so much more. What's up with the stiffness? they are looking robotronic. Loosey goosey, baby. Loosey goosey. The School of Rock. I can sing. All right, belt it. Memory. Stop. Good. Rated PG-13. Sneak preview Saturday and Sunday. Check local listings. I fell in the pool with my clothes on. How hilarious is that? Isn't that interesting, honey? Mind-numbingly interesting. Ooh. I don't need no instructions to know how to rock. I feel that criminals should behave professionally. My name is Brad. I'm wearing clean underwear. It's like a koala bear crapped a rainbow in my brain. <laughs> okay. Brought to you by Progressive. Not what you'd expect from an insurance company. There's a new vanilla in town. Introducing Pepsi Vanilla, the perfect blend of cola and vanilla. That was awesome. That's not so vanilla. Hey, you got that processed piece of crap instead of the toasted Philly cheesesteak from Quiznos? What, were you raised by wolves? <laughs> yes, I was. Hmm. Why have an ordinary sub? Try a delicious Quiznos toasted Philly cheesesteak or our other toasted sandwiches starting at $1.99. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Toasty. From the creator of Beavis and Butthead, they've got class. This here's your whoop ass stick. They've got gas. What's that smell? They're the hottest family in Texas. Watch the ball! King of the Hill on DVD, own season one today. Look what Pizza Hut's got for you now. The DVD is yours to keep when you buy a large Pizza Hut pizza at regular price. Choose from four comedy classics like All Dogs Go to Heaven 2 and Honeymoon in Vegas. Pizza Hut pizza and a DVD on us. You only get it when you gather around the good stuff. Check out shop.cartoonnetwork.com, your headquarters for animation collectibles, artist drawings, cell art, maquettes, and more. New on cartoonnetwork.com. <laughs> Sir, I detect the presence of alcohol. Have you been drinking this evening? Not really. One or two? Just a few. Step out of the car, sir. Step out of the car. Step out of the car, please. Across the country, cops are cracking down. No matter where you drive, if you drive impaired, you will be arrested. It's simple. You drink, you drive, you lose. From Verizon Wireless, you can download your favorite songs as ringtones and never miss a beat. That was crazy. Free up. It's for you from Verizon Wireless. In 1211, the Carpathian brothers took a vow of silence. Luckily, it only pertains to offline because right now aol members can get aol for broadband the first online service specifically designed to maximize your high-speed connection for a great low price now for a limited time and when you can get streaming news and sports highlights and send instant messages with video pictures and songs who needs talking call now to get the only high-speed online experience with all the power of the world's largest online community with sessions at aol radio at aol and music at aol plus aol's powerful pop-up controls latest generation parental controls and a junk mail filter that helps you block unwanted email report it and helps filter it out altogether 
AOL for Broadband. Welcome to the World Wide. Nothing really special ever happens here in this place until she came along. Next thing I knew, I had things coming out of my head. And I had a robot living in my house. And well, a bunch of other weird stuff. Whatever. It's really not that big a deal. Do you find this difficult to understand? To the Greeks, the authority of the head of the family was absolute. The legends say that Kronos assumed authority by killing his father at the behest of his mother. Kronos, in turn, foresaw that history would be repeated and that his own son, Zeus, would overthrow him. Thus, prophecy and patricide were closely bound in their mythology from the very beginning. lie the barbarous lands of the savage Celts. Meanwhile, threatening from the east, looming across Asia, is the mighty empire of Persia. And squeezed between these two great giants are Greece and Macedonia, almost infinitesimal in comparison. Farther to the east, beyond Persia, beyond the mountains at the edge of the world, lies India, land of legend and home to untold pagan gods. But all of these are nothing but geographical aggregations of barbarians, mere trash. They cannot be considered true nation-states, Alexander. That distinction belongs to us. Only the children of Hellas have built what can be called a state. Alexander? What is it, boy? Is this the edge of the world? Red flag! Move forward! What's our situation? Very little progress, sire. The Greeks are fighting fiercely and their center is holding fast, and they're pressing our left flank and threatening to turn it. That's where Prince Alexander's in command, is it not? Strange how little of him and his horsemen we've seen so far this day. Adonis, what are you implying? I merely observe that our left flank is being overrun and he's making no move to help. It's a simple statement of fact, that's all. I leave the implications to you, my dear Parmenian. I want a messenger sent to the prince at once. <laughs> Uh, tell me, Clytus, is this your first campaign as well? Yes, but look at how calm and cool he is. You'd never guess it's his first. Prince Alexander! Words come from the king. We are to attack the enemy at once. <laughs> My prince! Is 
he mad? What's he waiting for? It was unwise to trust the boy with such a command. You are presumptuous, Atlas. Watch your step. Mm. You must retire to safety, my lord. Just on the chance the worst should happen. Mm. Alexander! and they're routing the enemy. Son, my proudest congratulations on the breathtaking success of your first command. It was a truly marvelous victory. Yes. All the same, boy, I still have a bone to pick with you. You were slow in obeying my orders. Just what were you waiting for? For speed, father. You were waiting for speed? That's your explanation? For an arrow to realize its maximum speed and complete effectiveness, it cannot be released before the bowstring's drawn taut, Father. Hold your tongue! Do you really mean to lecture me on strategy, boy? Alexander! You know me well enough to know I would only intrude on your bedchamber if the matter were of some importance. It's good news, in fact. 
Get on with it. The success of the Prince's campaign has the people in the marketplace praising him in a manner so fervent it would make the gods blush. In fact, it's generally believed that our victory over Caronia is owed exclusively to him. I take pride in Alexander's good reputation. Sire, your attitude is admirable. However, there are some who say that the Queen's happiness at his success has made her a bit indiscreet in expressing it. What of it? Queen Olympias dotes on Alexander. More than the King? I do not dote. Forgive me, of course, that's not your way. Now I've brought you something. <laughs> Sire, this is Eurydice, my daughter. Oh. Atlas, what do you mean by this? You know as well as I do what I mean by this, sire. Temptation? Oh, how can you think me capable of something so base? It's salvation I offer, salvation from a queen unworthy of you, king of Macedonian, lord of the Greek world. Sire, everyone has heard the rumors that your wife serves the bestial deity of a pagan cult in the most wanton manner. Divorce her. Why, her behavior has even given rise to whispered doubts of the prince's true paternity. Alexander is my blood. Of course, you must believe it is so. But I sometimes wonder if the prince feels a certain issue. Why? I ask you, would a son who truly loves his father willfully disobey him and leave him to face death on the field of battle? Uh, he told me it was a question of timing. Timing? Was he timing it to save you or to make certain you were past saving? Eh? My liege, you are the ruler of a vast empire favored by the gods as master of the Greek world. Even mighty Persia lies within your grasp and you are still quite young. But death can arrive in the blink of an eye, and we both know it might have come for you during that moment the prince wavered at the battle. The seeds of suspicion have been sown. You must pull them out, sire, before their roots start spreading. Take a new queen for yourself and the kingdom. <sighs> and if it so transpired that your union were to produce a son, then indeed all would be well. <laughs> And all will be well, I'm sure of it. Orbit cleans another dirty mouth. That's why four out of these five golf marshals prefer the good, clean feeling of Orbit, no matter what. There is an ancient myth. Pandora's box. Believed to hold the mystery of life. No one who has gone looking for it has come back. But only one woman. Men are coming for the box. Knows the truth. It's a weapon more powerful than you could ever imagine. How's that? Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life, rated PT 13, Friday, July 25th, everywhere. Download music, you're the master. Streaming video up to a hundred times faster. Grandkids follow, the memories last year. Goodbye, Gallup, optimum all night is faster.
first three months for just $19.95 a month. This summer, America's hottest dancers will compete. But only the ones with the best moves move into the spotlight. Dance Fever, Sundays at 7, 6 central on ABC Family Channel. Only the best moves move into the spotlight. Dance Fever, Sundays at 7. Watch ABC Family Channel on Cablevision. May the force be with you. You're going to need it. Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3, Rebel Strike, product not yet rated. Coming this fall only for Nintendo GameCube. GameCube. Ah, oh, man, I'm hot and thirsty. Thirsty and hot. Don't drip all over the floor, honey. Nasty call. Call to the core. This face of yours will someday break the heart of the world. You called for me, father? Mm. Tell me something, Flotus. How's the prince handling himself? Uh, well... Since the battle, he's had the full confidence of the soldiers. He pitches in and shares their labors, getting his hands dirty with the most common infantrymen. <laughs> he's won them over completely. Really? Well, it's perfectly respectable for a commander to want to share in the travails of his men. And a prince with a common touch is a fine thing. However... However what, father? I sense wheels turning behind the scenes, as if Atlas were working on the king, plotting something. But plotting what? I don't know, perhaps nothing. Excellency, a courier has arrived bearing news from your spy in Persia. Do you care to see him? Hmm. Look at the size of this place. I've only ever seen it from the outside. This is supposed to be the spot, at least I think it is. Why do you think this place is so huge? I don't know, maybe we're in the wrong spot. Calm down, Ptolemy. We're in the right spot. The question is, where's Alexander? Hephaestion? Have you seen Alexander? I would guess he's probably with his mother. Again? Amazing. The man is a very demon on the field of battle, but I have never heard of a more tender and devoted son. Mm-hmm. I've never seen a garden like this one before. Look. Just look at the odd shape of this reflecting pool. It's odd, all right. But then I don't care much for reflecting pools. Look closer. <sighs> uh, I give up. What's it supposed to be? The world. On this side is Europe. And over there is Asia. Combined, they are the entire world. Where is Macedonia, then? Well, how about Athens? Oh, come on. They're as close as that? 
Then what in Zeus's name exists out there? A polis is a highly evolved political state. Even Macedonia can't claim that it's a true polis yet. But for now, the game is to eliminate Persia as a threat. And both Philip and Alexander must be winners in the game. Winners and pawns. Former member of the Academy. I am, and you are one of Pythagoras's cutthroats. The Platohedron, sir. Kindly tell us where it is. The what? We've already questioned most of your Athenian colleagues, alas, to no avail. And so it is that we have journeyed to you, estimable sir. You, Aristotle, the estranged former student and colleague of Plato himself. For what purpose do you seek this object? To destroy it. What do you mean? Confined within is the dread Arhitos. Killing Alexander has proven more difficult than expected. So we must strike at the Platohedron itself to spare the world the most absolute of disasters. Arhetos, you say? What has all this to do with Prince Alexander? <sighs> so, philosopher, you too profess ignorance of the knowledge that Plato, your master, stole from us. Shame yourself no further, Aristotle. Surrender the Platohedron. Surrender the Platohedron. Surrender the Platohedron. <gasps> Are you all right? Yes, child. Thanks to you. So, this is the world. A big place, isn't it? And someday, Clytus, all of it will be... It is your destiny to ravish the world. My prince, I've been looking for you everywhere. This is urgent news. What is it? The Empire of Persia is in turmoil. What? It is our information that King Artaxerxes III has been assassinated. Probably at the behest of the man who now succeeds him as Darius III. Sounds typical. What sort of man's this Darius? Our intelligence has been sketchy, but we do know one thing. He is calling himself the Shining King of the World. So, modesty's not his strong suit, then. Hear me now, Olympias of Epirus. For your pagan rituals and depraved behavior, you are henceforth banished from the throne. The queen banished? Oh. insolent. By order of King Philip himself. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Be gone! Not even a prince can barge into the royal presence this way! Well, what is it you want, Alexander? Father, is it true that you've divorced Mother? I... Look me in the eye! <laughs>
Coming up next, it's...